congrats to Derrick Rose on his recent retirement in an incredible NBA career, a Hall of Fame NBA career. This voiceover breakdown is going to detail his finishing series in the 2010-2011 NBA season where he was MVP of the league for the Chicago Bulls. In part one of this finishing breakdown, we'll feature his slide by finish against the help defender or shot blocker. So part one is going to be off of one foot. So he's going to drive here to his left hand. And one of the things you're going to see in this voiceover breakdown is his ability to beat his primary defender with this little scoot step or float right here going left and right. Now, he is excellent at getting downhill, but watch how low he plays right here. His shoulders low into his primary defender so he can get downhill to the paint. Now, you're going to see the shot blocker right here. He's going to jump off that left foot right there, get the ball high right there, and he's going to finish off one foot with his right hand, a slide by finish. He's going to float again between the legs float. He's driving hard right here to his left. He recognizes the shot blocker right here. Now, when the shot blocker goes up, you're going to see this shoulder towards the middle right here, which means he has to finish to his left hand so he's going to jump off his inside foot right there and he's going to extend the ball wide with a slide by finish to his left hand right here high off the glass now the next progression in the slide by finish is his two foot slide by and he like going right to finish with his right hand so left right footwork right here you can see the help defender there and he does a great job of getting the ball high and then keeping it high to finish against that help defender. He's gonna get outside hips right there with that little scoot. He's driving hard to his left hand. You can see that shoulder's low. He recognizes the defender helping over as the low defender right there. Getting to the rim right here for verticality. He's gonna go left, right, and you can see the verticality hands up right there. So he's gotta slide the ball by to the middle right here and you can see he keeps the ball high right there, and then he can extend it with his right hand to finish against that shot blocker. Float left, he's gonna drive and look at his shoulder right there. You can see how low he plays right there to get downhill to the paint. He recognizes the shot blocker right there, the low defender coming over to help, and he's gonna jump off left, right, two foot, he gets up right here, he takes contact, and then he's gonna extend the ball out with his right hand to finish. That same float. Now he's gonna cross over to get back to his right hand right there, right here. Now he recognizes the help defender there. He's gotta go right, left. Now you're gonna see him finish with that left hand right there against the help defender. Another slide by finish. And watch this little scoot right here he does. Once it becomes a live ball dribble to drive to his left hand, he recognizes the help defender right there at the restricted circle. He picks the ball up, and this is a slide by to a touch shot off the glass right there. Driving left again, he recognizes the help defender right there at the restricted circle. So he's going to slide the ball by off two feet to that right hand. Part one featured his slide by finish. Part two is his show and go reverse finish. So right at this point in the paint right here, he recognizes over that right shoulder, the shot blocker coming down to block his shot at the rim. He's gonna show the ball right there on the left side. And then he's gonna finish on the other side with his right hand, a show and go finish. He's going to reject this ball screen right here, which he was excellent at. You can see right here, he's going to drive hard to his left hand. Now, you can see that shoulder dip right there to get downhill. He recognizes the help defender helping down to block his shot right there. So he's going to show the ball on the left side, and then he's going to finish on the right side with that show and go extension. We have another quick reject off that chase action. Drive into his left. Now he recognizes the shot blocker right there going up to block his shot. He's going to show the ball right there and then finish with his right hand on the other side. This is a big time inside out move right here. Watch 
his shoulder and the ball move right there. So he's going to shift the drop defender right there. Now the shot blocker is coming right here to block his shot on the left side. He's going to show the ball and then he's going to finish with that right hand on the other side. Part three of our Derrick Rose finishing breakdown from his MVP season is his stride floater. So that's when you finish outside, inside, and he has a really good floater that he shoots high off the glass, and he has a high drop angle when he doesn't use the glass. So you can see in this example right here, watch the drop angle right here when he shoots this. He goes up off two feet, so a floater's off two feet, a runner's off one foot, and watch how high the ball goes right here. It goes above the white square on the backboard right there. And now the ball can drop right in. That's one of the keys when shooting a floater or a runner is high touch, a high drop angle. And it comes soft off your right hand. And he shoots it off his right hand really well. Even off this change of direction move right here. Behind the back cross step. He's going to gather the ball right there with a quick dribble. Now he's going outside, inside footwork. He's going to shoot a floater with his right hand and watch how high the ball goes again. It goes above that white square right there and it drops right in. Just excellent touch when shooting his stride floater. Now, one of the reasons you're shooting a floater is to get it over your primary defender, a help defender, or in this example, a shot blocker right there. And you can see how high he shoots this floater right there to get it over the shot blocker. And with that high drop angle and that soft touch, it can bounce off the rim and go in. Great move with the inside out. He recognizes the help defender right here. So he's going to gather right left footwork. And then he's going to shift away. From the shot blocker, the help defender that became the shot blocker, and shoot that righty floater over top. He has great balance when he shoots his floaters. Driving right, little inside out, and now he's going to shoot the floater over his primary defender with the shot blocker right there coming to help. And watch how high he shoots this floater right there, and it drops right in. The last part of our finishing breakdown for Derrick Rose during his MVP season is his touch runner. So we just saw his floater, which is off two feet. Now his runner is going to be off one foot with that right hand. And most of the time he is shooting it off his left foot. So his inside foot when he's driving to his right hand, like you're going to see here, he's going to pick the ball up. He recognizes his primary defenders right there. He's going to jump off that left foot and he's going to shoot a high touch runner right there off the glass. Quick drive to his right hand. He's going to get his shoulder down. He's picking the ball up right there from about 16 feet and he recognizes the shot blocker coming over right there and he's going to shoot that high touch runner off his inside foot with his right hand high off the glass that's what's really important to understand with his floaters and runners is the high and soft touch out of his right hand now he's going to drive to his right hand right there you got a gap defender right here you have the nail defender helping down you got the low defender right there so he's not going to be able to get all the way to the rim so he has to go to the next solution which is his touch runner right there high off the glass again Driving right, he recognizes the help defender shot blocker coming over right there from the restricted circle. But once he gets off the ground right there, he really elevates on his floaters and runners, which helps his drop angle. Great shifty move right there with the inside out crossover. He's going to pick the ball up and he's going to shoot it right over top and drop it right in with that runner.